Okay guys, so this is the uh, Astrophysics 1600 mount, the right ascension axis and the deck axis apart. And uh, when I want to set it up, as anyone that has this knows, it's fairly heavy. And if I've got to take it any distance in my yard uh, to set it up, as I don't have a permanent uh, observatory, uh, safety is always uh, important when carrying it. And if you've got to take it far, um, you want to be able to not have to carry it the whole way and still be safe doing it. I've always used this cart and I had a different board that ran the full length from the handle to the end and I would set it on there and just go real slow but um, I decided to do something a little bit different and uh, have it more secured. So I had this piece of uh, two foot by two foot by half inch thick oak veneered plywood so I thought well let me put that to good use now what I did is I attached as you see here the astrophysics flat surface adapter it's the 1612 FSA so whether I'm um, at the beginning of an observing session and I'm taking the uh, mount out to the tripod or I've taken it off the tripod at the end of an observing session to bring it back to the house all I've done is use two of these bolts that Astrophysics supplies for the mount and I put one here as you see in the front and there's one in the back side that's all you need and then you just simply take it off or put it on just like that. Here's the opposite side for the azimuth adjusters and the back side of the right ascension axis. Now here you see that flat surface adapter and this is to the back side. Uh, I have the south side there and then the north side to the front of the uh, right ascension axis and uh, the reason I did that in this particular case is with these um, struts here that uh, are on the car worked out perfect because if I just put four quarter inch or twenty by inch long socket head caps they fit right in between Now, as to the right ascension axis, I just simply laid it down, set it down on a uh, towel, bath towel, and I have it setting where the uh, deck cap would go. And then that black piece of foam you see, I just put uh, that up against the um, bottom of the cart, and um, that way I can push the right ascension axis right up to that uh, foam and then um, if there's any wobble nothing will get damaged and it rides just fine like that the weight distribution and everything is perfect no issues now here you see the uh, two foot by two foot piece of uh, oak veneered plywood as it is mounted to the uh, cart Now these two items here, those are from Night Eyes. And those are, uh, the, I really like a lot of their products, but this is a rubberized twisty. And uh, that's what I use to simply hold this. Can't, doesn't really go anywhere. You see it's, it wants to slide a little bit, but I'll show you underneath why it can't. And the weight 
of the right ascension axis, it just once once you put that on there, it just doesn't go anywhere. Okay, and it can't it can't go anywhere, and I'll show you why. Now you're looking at it from the bottom side, and that's that twisty. You can get those lows. Bass Pro, a number of places have these. And uh, I drilled a quarter inch hole on either side. I laid the thing out and sat it where I wanted to. And um, then when I set it on here, that twisty goes through an opening that's already into this cart on both sides. And then it goes out of the outside of the frame here. Put a couple twists on it, it's not going anywhere. Here you see the bolts on the bottom side, quarter inch by one inch long, socket head cap screw bolts. And then I used um, nylocks, quarter inch washer, and then a simple nylock, and that uh, it won't go anywhere. So when I'm done with this, and I no longer need this board on here, all I've got to do is undo these twisties on both sides, take the board off and store it, and I'm good to go till the next time I need it. Now the wheels on this cart work great on grass. This is the model of the uh, hand cart that I have and I did a review on my channel I'll put a link to it in the description